How's it going everybody? And welcome to the second video in this series on the fundamentals of SEO. If we haven't met before, my name is Matt and I've been helping businesses and brands for the last 10 years get more leads, traffic, and sales to their companies through SEO and content marketing. And in this free video series, we're going through really everything you need to know to go from a complete SEO beginner to a very competent SEO practitioner. And be sure to stick around to the end of this lesson because I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to install Google Search Console so you can make sure that your site is crawled, indexed, and served to your users. A lot of times, you know, you'll have weird instances with SEO where all of a sudden your pages aren't showing up in Google or all of a sudden your rankings are dropping or something weird is happening on your site and you don't know why. So it's really important to understand the fundamentals of how Google works. Google works in three main ways to serve your website to users and that's crawling, indexing, and serving search results. So let's take each of those one by one and talk about what it means. So crawling is really all about Google discovering what's on the internet. Now Google has access, as you might imagine, to some of the most advanced technology, including a massive array of supercomputers that all use a program called Google Bot. Now Google Bot, otherwise known as some people call it a spider because it's crawling around the internet, is a program that goes around every website all across the internet and essentially discovers what's on the website. Now there is actually a way to disallow the Google bot from crawling your website if you don't want it looking at a certain page for whatever reason. We'll talk more about that throughout the course. Now when I think of Google sending out their crawlers, I sort of think of the Sentinels from the Matrix series. They're like these robots that just go speeding through exploring every crevice of the internet to return that information then back to Google. You can actually help the Google bots discover what's on your site more efficiently by submitting what's called a site map. Now, the Google bots will probably be able to crawl your website no matter what, but think of it this way. If someone told me to meet them at some random location, well, with the help of my phone and GPSs and calling for directions and asking people and using context clues, I could probably find it eventually. However, if the person gave me an exact map as well as an exact address of where to meet them, that makes things a lot easier. And that's what a site map does. When we submit a site map to Google, we're essentially making it much easier for their robots to crawl our website. And anytime we can make those robots work less, it's gonna be good for us. So really quickly, I'll show you what a site map is with one of my own websites. So if I go to composercode.com, which is one of my niche sites, and I just type in sitemap.xml. This file is basically a full map of all of the pages on my site in such a way where the Google bot can read this and more efficiently crawl my website. We'll talk later in the course about how to create a site map and submit it through Google Search Console, but for now, it's just important to know that that exists. Okay, so once that phase is done, the crawling phase, the robots have gone out, they've collected the data, they bring it back to Google. The next thing that they do, as you can see from the Google page here, is indexing. So you can think of the entire internet as a big library and Google is doing their best to categorize their library. And when a user comes to Google and they're searching for something, it's almost like they're checking out a book. And so Google wants to give them the best possible answer to their search query from their giant library of books in this metaphor or websites in reality. So in the previous video, we talked about the how to use a chainsaw example. If Google were to crawl that site, they're taking it back. And as you can see from the copy on the site here, they're analyzing the textual content in the key content tags and attributes, such as the title elements, all attributes, images, videos, and more. So Google is grabbing all the information and you can think of indexing as kind of sorting that information. It's okay. This is a website on accounting software that goes here. This is a website on crypto that goes here. This is a website on chainsaws that goes here. And the last and final phase and the real phase where we start making money is when they start serving up search results. Now this is where Google is looking at a whole host of what we call ranking factors, the authority of the website, the quality of the content. This is where it basically determines what is the best page that I can serve users based on what they're searching for. This is where the real competition happens. And as Google says here, relevancy is determined by hundreds of factors. Again, we call this ranking factors. Now, we don't know exactly what these ranking factors are. We know some of them for sure, but we definitely don't know all of them because think about it. If we knew all the ranking
thinking factors. We would just game the system and basically just give Google exactly what it wants. And that's not what Google wants because gaming the search engine often results in spammy, crappy, thin content that's just not good for users and makes for kind of a crappy internet. And nobody really wants that. So Google doesn't reveal all of the ranking factors. However, we will get into a lot of what Google expects from your content so that whether or not you know the ranking factors or not, you can be confident that you're giving the best user-centered content that you can to your searchers in a way that Google loves. My definition of SEO, and I'll come back to it multiple times, is giving the users or the searchers exactly what they're looking for in the exact format that Google wants you to give it. Now, if Google has crawled your website, they've indexed your website, but you're still not ranking for search pages, Google gives you a couple reasons as to why that might be on their website. Number one is the content on the page is irrelevant to users' queries. The quality of the content is low. The robot's meta rules prevent serving. Now, what does that last one mean? We'll get into that when we talk about technical SEO. Now, again, this is kind of vague. What is low content? What is high quality content? How do I know if my content is low or high? And we'll talk all about those things in the next videos. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video where we're talking about how to create that awesome content that captivates your users and that Google loves, that high converting content. That's what we're after. Okay, so now that you've stuck around, let's walk through how to install Google Search Console on your website so you can see for sure if your site is indexed as well as any problems that might be preventing your site from being indexed. So our first step is to go to Google Search Console and the easiest way to do that is just to go to Google and type in Google Search Console. So then you're gonna click on the first result there and you're gonna hit start now. Somewhere in the top left hand side or somewhere uh, clearly visible, there should be an option to add a property. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So if I click this and scroll down and then click add property, it'll ask me for the domain. We have to validate that we indeed own this domain. So I'm gonna demonstrate this on my own agency website, which is kenyandigital.net. I'm gonna hit continue. So now we have some instructions here. So what we have to do is we have to go into our domain name provider, like GoDaddy or Namecheap, something like that, and we have to copy the TXT record into the DNS settings. This is something that should be pretty straightforward if you have something like Shopify or Wix or Weebly on your website, but if you don't and you're doing your own custom domain name and own custom hosting, you may need to go into the back end of your domain service and do this manually. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my Namecheap dashboard. And here, what I'm going to do is if I go to my domain list and I click Kenyan Digital, Manage, I'm going to go over to Advanced DNS. Now DNS is Domain Name Service, I believe is what it stands for. Let's find out. What does DNS stand for? Domain Name System. See, learn something new every day always be a student. Anyway, so we're gonna go to advanced DNS and we're gonna go to our host records here and we're gonna add a new record. Now we're gonna add a TXT record because that is what Google asked us to add. And for our host, we're just going to put an at symbol and then we're going to type in the value or we can copy this value rather, not type it in, and we're gonna paste it in the value section here for TTL, we can leave that as automatic and we can just hit save changes. So once that's done, we can go back here. It says, please note the DNS changes may take some time to apply. So if search console doesn't find the record immediately, wait a day to try to verify again. So let's try our luck and see what happens. We'll hit verify. Ah, it did not work. So this is actually good that this happened because I wanted to show you what you might see if you try to verify your domain and the DNS has not properly populated yet. So I will come back to this in a few hours when it has worked and I will show you what it looks like when we are verified. Well, it's only been five minutes and I tried again. I expected it to be a lot longer than that. And as you can see, we are verified, which is really cool. So now we can go to property and we can start seeing some data for our website. But oh no, what's going on here? There is no data for our website. And that's because now that Google Search Console is installed, it's gonna take some time to aggregate your search data. But congrats, you've just done the most important thing you can do for your SEO success, and that's install Google Search Console. All other fancy SEO paid tools don't even come close to the accuracy of Google Search Console because this is data that you're getting straight from Google. If you enjoyed this, please drop a like, 
please subscribe for the rest of the videos in this series. I'm super excited to get into stuff like on-page SEO, content marketing, conversion rate optimization, backlinking, uh, technical SEO, all that stuff is going to be really fun. So I would love for you to join me in this. And if you're like, wow, this is overwhelming. I don't really want to deal with this. And you'd like to maybe hire me to help you with your SEO. I would love to have a conversation with you. You can reach out to me via the link in the description or shoot me an email. And I'd love to just have a conversation to see if we're a good fit. But anyway, I hope this has been informative for you. And I'm excited to go on the rest of this journey with you and put out this free content on SEO. So thanks so much for watching. And I'm excited to see you in the next one. Bye.